Welcome back, people. Hope you all enjoyed our last video. If you have not watched it yet, please do check it out. So in today's episode, we've got 15 scary ghost videos that will leave you extremely afraid of the dark. Stay tuned to the end of the video. And yes, if you don't want to miss our videos, then please subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell to get notified every time we post a new video. Let's get started. Number 15. Our first video comes from the channel Kuroshiro Channel. This time, Shiro took a risky trip into an atmosphere of increased anxiety that was recently invited by Mr. H, the owner of a home with a dark past. Shiro promised to spend the night under Mr. H's roof if the first vigil went without incident. Shivers ran down the spine as the unpleasant sequence of events unfolded the next night. In the presence of Mr. H, Shiro witnessed a number of frightening events on the second night. うわ、これ怖いわ。これ息できますね。あ、スピットボックスだけやってみていいですか。あ、大丈夫ですよ。誰かいらっしゃいますかね、ここに。ここで亡くなった方とかおられますか。もしいらっしゃいましたら、一言
ちゃんなんすかはい。When trying to make contact with a spirit box, a shadowy person hiding behind a nearby tree. When they redirected the beam of their flashlights to the location, the figure had disappeared. Shiro was so disturbed by this eerie encounter that he convinced the owner to allow a single vigil. The anxiety and ominous mood around their inquiry increased when an unnerving incident happened the night before this agreement was supposed to go into force. Shiro went to a neighboring food store while, in his absence, an unexpected guest showed up at the apartment. On the way back to the apartment, Shiro saw a silhouette in the distance and went up the steps, passing a quiet man. Before retiring for the evening, Shiro had one more meeting with the owner as another night drew near. In the middle of the night, Shiro's inquiry was interrupted by an unexpected guest at the door, whose shadow was seen by Shiro through the window. However, As Shiro opened the door, the hallway was empty, forcing him to wrestle with the unsettling question of who they are. Was it a ghost from the past that haunted the apartment, or was it the same person that had been there before? Even with intensive efforts, elusive entities managed to avoid being captured on camera. Number 14. This next video was uploaded by a TikTok user, Jack O' Lantern Stories. The user is an experienced funeral director who has a special interest in visiting haunted places and gathering supposedly haunted objects. Among his acquisitions was a venerable haunted artwork that had attracted a lot of attention and was immersed in a narrative of mystery and spectral law. Ray Turner had noticed a slight but noticeable change in the atmosphere of his house ever since he acquired the haunting picture. But in recent days, this slight uneasiness has intensified into terrifying paranormal activities. One morning, strange hammering sounds that echoed through his deserted home woke him up from sleep. With some hesitation, Ray decided to record his investigation. He ventured out to face the source of the noise and recorded this. You can hear banging coming from downstairs. It woke me up this morning, but there shouldn't be anybody down here. Hello? <gasps> oh my god. Hello? <gasps> Hello? What the fuck? Oh, Will, are you okay? Hello? Oh my god, what's going on? Some bizarre things are going on in here. I fell asleep on the couch this afternoon. I can hear strange banging noises and there's like child's fingerprints on the mirror. See, can you hear it? This is the frame that's previously caused us a bit of trouble. But you know, I can almost see my breath. It's gone icy cold in here. Freezing. What the fuck? What the fuck? So not only am I dealing with the candles blowing out on their own and the fucking cornflakes falling off, the cat's going mad now. What's he looking at? You alright, mate? What are you doing? There's nothing there. What the fuck? Don't go out there. Fuck, don't go. Stay here. I'm not following you out there. I don't know what on earth is going on in this house today. As you can see from those clips as well, the cat's acting really strange. He's been doing that for ages now. 
looking around the room, darting back and forth like that. Then, as you could hear as well, there was like banging noise in the kitchen and both of them ran out there. When I've gone in after it, there's nothing there. I don't know what the hell is going on in this house. There's been nothing for ages, nothing at all. But just today, there's been an atmosphere as well. It's, something's changed. I'm staying upstairs until my partner gets home because it's terrified me, to be honest. In Ray Turner's captured footage, an object moved on its own and a glass fell mysteriously. A spooky image was punctuated by a scary, muffled voice. Strangely, the terrifying incidents came to an end soon after, leaving behind a spooky silence. However, a few days later, Ray was startled awake in his sleep on the sofa by the sudden return of unexplained pounding sounds, which rekindled the haunting presence that haunted his home. A little, presumably childlike handprint was found on the mirror by the uploader, and then there was a loud bang. He looked everywhere, but he couldn't figure out why the commotion was coming back upstairs. He kept hearing strange sounds, so he decided to look into it again. This time, his terrifying experience showed a presence beyond explanation lurking in the shadows of his haunted house. The candles extinguished on their own, objects mysteriously fell from the table, and a shadowy figure was seen moving near the doorway. While the cat exhibited an odd and uneasy behavior, seemingly drawn to the mysterious activity. One cat behaved peculiarly, scanning the room as if perceiving an unseen presence. Despite the growing amount of evidence of paranormal activity, Ray Turner didn't seem to be deterred from parting with the haunted painting anytime soon. What are your thoughts? Number 13. This next scary recording comes from the channel Zark Scary Haunting. Zark claimed to have been haunted by a wicked spirit that had been haunting him and caused him to change houses several times in an attempt to find relief. One fatal night, Zark's wife woke up to strange noises that came from within the house. Zark was prompted to check after she alarmed him. To his dismay, he found the balcony door slightly ajar, suggesting the possibility that the monster had broken into their shelter. Zark prayed intensely, hoping that the thing hadn't crossed the boundary yet, but he worried that it might be too late. Zark investigated the source of the unexplained pounding noises and discovered that there was no visible presence in the vicinity. But the unnerving events continued to appear in the form of his son's mysterious nose bleeds that occurred every night. In a manner similar to the first signs of the problems, his son likewise started having frequent nightmares. Worried about their security, Zark moved quickly to address the growing paranormal activity consulting with a Catholic priest and deciding to temporarily move his wife and son into the care of their sister-in-law. Zark followed the priest's counsel and called upon St. Michael's prayer for protection. It's okay, I'll see you. Don't worry. Don't open the door. Shh, I'm sleeping. Okay, don't worry. 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 Don't worry.
Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle, be our protector. Be our protection against the snares of the devil. Make her repeat me humbly. However, in spite of Zark's best efforts, the disturbances worsened, leading to a terrifying experience with dire consequences. After the recital of St. Michael's prayer, an eerie demonic growl pierces the atmosphere, indicating a sinister reaction to Zark's effort to face the evil force. Not long later, he had a severe case of nausea that made him unable to bear the solitude of his haunted house. His wife worried about him and ran back to see how he was doing. A rapid jump in his blood pressure forced emergency medical services to intervene. In a later unsettling episode, Zark was seen sleepwalking around the house and acting erratically, as if he were in possession. Upon closer examination, it was clear that he cut his own hair for no apparent reason, although he had no memory of doing it. Simultaneously, a fog-like apparition moved through the area, 
suggesting the strong and evil force that haunted the family. What do you think? Number 12. This next video comes from the channel Your Scary Place. The video began as Mr. K and Abe visited director Akira, who leased out his apartment for the purpose of filming music videos and other projects. But eventually, strange things started to happen inside its walls. Everybody inside felt that there was something strange within the building. Akira decided to tell Mr. K and Abe about the strange events and gave them the duty of solving the mysteries haunting the area. <laughs>
Mr. K noticed the unnerving phenomenon of the room door closing, without any reason when he was by himself. Reacting quickly, he searched the corridor for a possible culprit behind the occurrence, but discovered it to be empty. Shortly after, this cycle repeated, forcing Mr. K to venture down the corridor once more, only to find it empty. But after closely examining the video, an oddity was seen that went unnoticed at first. Upon closer inspection, it was evident that a woman with long black hair emerged as a figure in the door's mirror as Mr. K left. As rumors grew, the investigation came to an end, but director Akira then released a video that his assistant took, adding to the mystery surrounding the mysterious happenings in the flat. The assistant entered the residence deliberately and discreetly, looking over every inch. Abruptly, he looked toward the balcony and caught sight of an enigmatic black shape. He approached the balcony anyhow, fascinated yet unfazed, only to discover it empty. Number 11. This next clip comes from the channel Sabaya L. Sabia claimed that there was a ghostly presence in her Dutch apartment, one that lurked in the shadows and gave off a sinister, menacing vibe. Over time, the paranormal activities in Sabaya's apartment intensified and reached a terrifying level, leaving her always afraid that a malicious force was residing there. She then made the decision to leave her eerily haunted flat. Sadly, Sababaya's journey did not come to an end with this move. Oh my god. Oh my god. I don't know, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know how it is. Helemaal klaar mee. Ik durf echt niet. Donder op, ik ga er niet naartoe. Ik bel wel iemand. Did you notice? Even though she had months of peace and quiet in her new home at first, she was soon faced with strange and unsettling occurrences again. After a specific instance in which the lights in her hallway started to flicker, Sabia used her phone to record her experiences. What she managed to get on camera turned out to be incredibly disturbing, showing an encounter of truly terrifying proportions. Sabia's reaction was obvious when she turned away from the corridor after being startled by the rapid movement of a light fixture. When she looked back, 
She saw that the hallway light had gone out again and that a shadowy figure was looming in the darkness. A few moments later, something unsettling seemed to surge up the stairs, but Sabia wisely chose not to investigate any further. Sabia E.L. held the conviction that the evil force that afflicted her former home has followed her to her new home. Number 10. This next video was uploaded by the channel Paranormal Nightmare TV. The video depicted three brothers who traveled to Whitley City, Kentucky, where they came across Wendy's family, and especially Wendy, who was battling an evil entity that was focusing its attention directly on her. After Josh, Sean... 53 degrees right here. There ain't no way. My arm's getting cold. Shoot my arm. 76, 77. Touch Rocky. To communicate with the creature, he entered the restroom and looked into the mirror when he saw a horrifying visual that made him immediately withdraw instinctively. The brothers continued their investigation despite this uncomfortable occurrence documenting other similar unsettling things as they went. The camera they had already set up captured this. The three brothers saw a dark person that moved along the hallway at the same moment as their sensor activated. After that, their investigation was concluded. What are your thoughts on this? Number 9. This next video was uploaded by a TikTok user, Lauren Rose 867 this time, Lauren had posted a video of her cat, where she was trying to capture her cat's odd behavior on camera, but she unintentionally captured something really unpleasant. A lot of you guys have been asking me about the history of the house where I caught that ghost footage, so I figured I'd do a part two and tell you a little bit about it because it just adds a whole new layer of creepy as shit to what I saw. So the house was originally built in the 80s and had only changed hands one other time besides the time that the original family lived there. Okay, so the original family designed a panic room and a bunker in the basement along with what we think are unfinished escape tunnels in the basement and in the garage. We were told that the tunnel in the garage hadn't been explored in a couple decades and so we were super excited to be the ones to explore this. Except for when we opened up the tunnel and started exploring, we discovered that the original owners of the house had left a backpack, a shovel, and a hammer in there. Normally something like this wouldn't be creepy until we discovered that the original owner of the house went insane and murdered his wife with a hammer. I should also mention that the bunker and the panic room are both soundproof. Her cat was sitting motionless on the couch, staring at something that wasn't there, when a dark figure suddenly emerged. With unnerving quickness, this unsettling appearance moved from right to left around the room. Remarkably, in spite of the menacing presence, Lauren's feline friend remained calm and showed no signs of fear. Bewildered by this unexplainable event, Lauren was at a loss for words. Number 8. This video was uploaded by a TikTok user, Danny Tumia. Danny shared this video where he talked of unnerving incidents with his young son and something that appeared to be efforts at communication with the other side. As per Danny, they lived in an old basement flat and he couldn't get rid of the impression that there was a ghost. I know why, so I pulled the camera out and I can't believe I caught this. That's Rowan. It's been a while since we stopped at the mirror and we were taking the dog out and Rowan wanted to go check it out and uh, I can't believe we caught this. Whoa. Oh, look, <gasps> Rowan seems hyped and he's trying to explain to me what he just saw. <laughs> Buddy? Yeah, I don't, know, I don't know about that, bud. Danny would often let his son wander the vast, deserted hallways until the day the boy's interest was aroused by an enigmatic mirror he happened to stumble upon. When Danny's son was pointing at himself in the mirror, something unsettling happened. A child's face appeared beside his own, and a ghostly visage gazed back at Danny, its presence unsettling and unexplainable. The ghostly face was uncannily similar to Danny's son, which added an unsettling element of mystery to the encounter. However, this uncanny incident was not the only one involving the mirror. 
Again, when his son looked into the mirror, a small ghostly figure appeared. This was a frightening sight. A figure appeared in the reflection and then vanished almost as quickly. Upon closer examination, the ghostly figure resembled the face that had been seen in the mirror before, adding to the eerie mood around the enigmatic object. What do you think? Number 7. This next video comes from the channel Project Ghost. The user Eric entered a nearby cemetery where he noticed a specific mausoleum. Seeing its possibilities for his endeavor, he decided to take on a risky venture and stay inside its boundaries in an attempt to communicate with the otherworldly realm. An unexpected incident occurred. It's okay. Thank you for communicating with me. Okay. Calm down. Calm down. It's okay. It's okay. Nothing's wrong. So, I've been sitting here, standing. Nothing's happening. I've been quiet. I'm panicking. This is too much for me. I will be back. I just, I just, it's too much. It's too much for me right now to handle. And like, As Eric tried to communicate with the spirits, the once open entry door suddenly slammed shut. Puzzled by this unexplainable experience, Eric painstakingly described the moments preceding the incident. When panic took hold of Eric, his terror grew worse, paralyzing him. With shaky resolve, he decided to leave the cemetery, only to be met with a terrifying scene. His spine tingled as a sinister appearance appeared behind the wall. Overwhelmed by the terrifying experience, Eric abruptly ended his unsettling quest. What do you think? Number 6 This next video was uploaded by the channel Rockline Do Not Cross. A group of friends decided to enjoy the peace of the late night hours as they took a leisurely drive around the streets of France. But their journey took an unexpected twist when they came upon a scene that went beyond their imaginations. Et alors, super sac sous chrono. Super sac sous chrono. Oh, le trottoir. <laughs> ça, ça marche. Ça, c'est de la puissance. Et on va, on va faire. Et mec, c'est quoi ça Quoi Où Quoi Et mec, c'est quoi ça C'est quoi Oh putain Fais le tour Fais le tour Fais le tour what at first seemed to be an average video soon turned into a show of exceptional things as they were traveling through the barren woods at night, a ghostly white figure appeared in front of their eyes, causing them to experience primal fear. They decided to look into it out of curiosity, but when they got back, they discovered that the apparition had disappeared completely. What do you think about it? Number 5. The next video was posted by Reddit user Gabber Flassum. A resident of Oklahoma named Ethan recently posted a scary video on the internet. Ethan claimed that his brother was busy carrying a Christmas tree from their mother's house into his car so he could drive it back to his apartment. But, as his brother was busy organizing the tree, strange things started happening nearby.
something unsettling was happening in the background while Ethan's brother was hunched over organizing stuff in the car's trunk. A shadowy, gray figure moved from left to right through the trees before bowing down and disappearing from view. After that, just as Ethan's brother was closing the car door, a terrifying scene occurred. Spectral hands appeared from under the vehicle and seemed to reach for his legs. Ethan's brother was not informed of these occurrences at the time, and he didn't learn about them until his mother watched the video. What do you think? Number 4. The next video was posted by Reddit user Ghost Pubes. 1. The user claimed that one unfortunate night his baby monitor alerted him to movements, and when he watched the video, a deeply unnerving paranormal event transpired. Over the course of the video, a ghostly object was seen floating over the crib, showing an uncomfortable closeness to the sleeping infant. The most unsettling event, though, seemed to be when a force that could not be seen seemed to grab the boy's leg and tug it upward before letting it fall back onto the mattress. Notably, the orb's movements appeared to precisely match the child's leg's trajectory, raising questions about whether it may have played a role in the tragedy. Number 3. This next video was uploaded by the channel Ericus Maximum. The uploader described an odd experience they had while on an ATV excursion in the woods. An enigmatic figure was accidentally recorded on camera by a buddy while they were crossing a brook. In the video, a distinct, solid black figure appeared straight ahead and moved quickly across the creek from right to left before disappearing from view. He noted this object's existence right away and ran from that place. What do you think? Number 2. This next video was uploaded by an online user, Terror Latente. The user worked in an ancient hospital which he considered to be haunted. He had been witnessing a lot of shadows over the past few months and had been hearing strange voices in the hallways when no patients were supposed to be out. A night after hearing what sounded like a small girl's voice, he took out his cell phone and began recording while he was walking down the various hallways to find out where these sounds were coming from. While doing so, he managed to capture a girl wearing a white dress. This footage was recorded by the security system the same evening. An appearance of a dark shadow appeared out of the wall, hovered over the hallway, and then disappeared back into the wall. What do you think? Number one, our final video was uploaded by an online user, Strong Waterfall Woman. The uploader claimed that she was by herself at home that night and was only posing for a TikTok video when she noticed something horrifying behind her.
<laughs> but yeah, I feel I always feel amazing when I have her lipstick on. I don't know why. I don't know why. She noticed that there appeared to be another woman seated on the couch in the rear, which was empty a short while before. What do you think? And that is gonna wrap it up for today, you guys. I hope you liked the video. Share your thoughts in the comments below. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do so. And hit that notification bell. This has been The Haunter, and I'll see you in the next video. And until then, keep it creepy.